than what it's distributed today. Mechanical advanced armature out of it. 13 degrees. Actually, it'd be 26 degrees. This side's 18 is what it was on, so it was advancing. 36 degrees plus the base timing. Swap it to the 13 slot. That way it can only advance 26 degrees mechanically. This little clip goes down inside this once you get this in. degrees. Put the springs back on and a little clip goes down in that hole right there. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get out. But I managed to get it. Looks like I'm going to clock the distributor. 180 degrees. So now the rotor button's pointing over here when it was pointing over here. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Just no problem. Just pop it out and spin it around. Other than that, now, let's see if it's 26 degrees. Plus probably 10 or 12, so 38 degrees total advance. I think I'm gonna try to adjust that and see what it does then. We got the springs back on, the base plate back in, put the clip back in still. It's in. Put the base on. Here we clean this thing up. Added some fresh grease to it. Make it pivot like it needs to. Clean it. Wipe the excess off. Here on. Adjusting and testing, I can get 20 degrees of retard and only 10 degrees of advance. I got it set now to where it's only backing out 12 degrees. Six here, but at the crank is 12 degrees. Cause crank turns two to one of the distributor, so whatever it does here, it's double at the bottom. So it should be pretty close to what I want it. If I need to add more boost, all I gotta do is turn this little screw and I can retard more timing up to 20 degrees. Let me get this put back on here and get this distributor clocked the right way. And I might go take it for a test drive. The shot of the spring I stuck on the back side by cutting it stop down. Let's the guts move forwards in, in the V-pod to make room for the spring and the retard situation going on. The spring is hard to see it, but it's cone shaped. That way when it collapses, it, it's not stacking up on top of itself. Ways the bottom of the vacuum advance has got a little pocket that the spring can collapse up into and that's how this works put pressure on it it pushes the spring and backs this arm back out and retards the timing and it's still got advanced tubes like I said it can move both ways that's how I did it I'll stick it on see what it does Take this thing for a little spin. See how it acts with this 
Tamin retard and 10 degrees of Tamin took out it. gauge for some reason is not working wondering if I got a leak so I don't think it was getting enough fuel either let me check all these T's make sure everything's airtight this is the first time I've drove it since I swapped all this to push locks boost gauge definitely wasn't moving so it's probably running a little lean there for a few times like, subscribe, and comment. It's going to be the end of this one.